Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm back again. Uh, this will be my second video that I'll be talking about uh, my through hike on the Appalachian Trail. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, my cooking and my water purification system, I guess, uh, to say. Um, last time I told you guys I'm not going to put a hydration pack inside or a camel back inside my, my uh, book bag because of uh, or my backpack because. Last time, you know, my last section hike got water on my on my clothes and everything, so I just went with the uh, smart water bottle. This is what I'll be drinking out of. Um, and the whole thing is, with that is, you know, you could take another bladder bladder with you. This is a two liter bladder. Um, I recommend anybody doing a through hike or long section hike have at least three liters of water with them. Okay, so this is one, and I've got two here. So this is going to be the water that I get from the creek, river, whatever I can get it from. This is going to be my bad water. Okay. And what you do is, with bad water, you just unscrew it. Saw your squeeze, it hooks right up to some of these bladders. You just gotta be careful of what this hooks up to, okay? Because this and the water, smart water bottle goes good together, it's, it's perfect. Uh, but I've seen some water bladders that the saw your squeeze doesn't hook up to. But this one hooks up just fine. What you do is you just tighten it down, water. You can see it coming out. You know, it takes a little while, but you guys kind of see what the system that I'm going to go with. And this is going to be my clean water. This is going to be the water that I drink up out of all the time. But that's it. Like I said, you know, you could take a two liter liter uh, bladder or a three liter bladder. And the good thing about taking something like this right here is, you know, when you get to camp, you can feel this thing slap up, you know, and you can cook with it. You can, you know, drink with it, whatever you got to do. And then the next morning, you can probably have it just enough to, you know, maybe get you a couple miles down the trail where you don't have to go back down the hill and get water at, okay? So let me go ahead and get to my cooking system. This is a GSI. Keep in mind, guys, that there are, like I said last video, there are a lot more lighter uh, pots out there. But this is the one that I, I chose to use. Uh, this is aluminum. They have titanium, a little bit lighter. So... And it's pretty much, you just open it up. I got a lid for it. It comes with a lid. It comes with a little, uh, like a little dish inside of it. But I'm not going to be using that dish, so I just tossed it out and put it in, you know, my, my junk uh, that I'm not going to take. Stove. It's called a pocket rocket. Okay. They make many knockoffs. You can get this thing at Walmart, you know, Dick's, Academy, uh, Field and Stream, Cabela's, any kind of outdoor place you can think of you can get this right here okay and this thing works amazingly it works for years and years and years and it boils with the gsi soloist it probably takes about two and a half to three minutes okay so you can eat directly out of this guys or you can pour this water when you get done uh boiling it you can pour it directly into something like this you know your your pasta side or this is kind of like a pre-made trail meal you can pour it, you know, open it up and pour your water directly into this and you can eat out of this, okay? So you don't have to, no pot, no mess to clean up with. And, and um, I'm glad that I was going to do a gear review about this today because I found a, my spork spoon, it broke. So I will not be using these plastic ones. I don't know if you, you know, you guys are familiar with them or not, but uh, they kind of break easy. Okay, guys, well, that was my cooking system and my water purification, uh, what I'll be using on the trail. So... Uh, I think next I'll be talking about maybe next video I'll be talking about my little ditty bag with my toiletries and my medicines and, and first aid and, and things like that. But uh, I'm going to try to keep the, the videos down below 10 minutes, okay? So uh, like I said, please subscribe and I'll be putting out a, you know, before the trail, I'll probably leave around March. So I'll be trying to get one out every every other day or every three or four days before I get, get out there to uh, the March. But after I'll get on the trail, maybe about a week or bi-weekly, okay? So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys later. Bye.